Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Resident Evil Zero, where I have freshly saved and I wanted to bring up a couple of things. One, there are no item boxes in this game. I kind of actually forgot that. So instead of having item boxes, you're actually free to drop things. Now you're limited to the area around you as to the items that you can drop, but you can drop pretty much anything and be able to pick it up later. You can see that I've got some shotgun shells there, there was the molotovs, there was the um, a first aid spray. I had to put Billy outside to do this and you know he actually has some some ink ribbons I could also leave here I think. Billy, why don't you go in there and leave your ink ribbons because you're not going to be using them here. As we go through, you know, many loading screens to open up the episode. Best decision I ever made. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Alright, leave those. Oh, I can't leave it here. But usually, I think that means usually there's not enough space. It could be the doors in the way, and because I put those shotgun shells there, can I drop them here? Yeah, I can drop them over here. So yeah, because the door has a hitbox, it wouldn't let me leave them in front of the door. But there you go. That's basically how you're going to manage your inventory. You're going to find a safe place to drop all your crap. Come on. Okay. Now, that does bring up something that I should have brought up before. Examine everything you come across in the train, even if you can't take it with you. Pick it up, look at it, put it back. There's a reason for that, and you'll find out later. Also, I have figured out where we need to go next, but I do want to go up here. We didn't really explore much up this way. But we do need to go back to the caboose of the train. There was an item there that we actually need, and I left it behind because I didn't understand what the puzzle I was looking at was. Go ahead and pick up the screen herb. And then there are many eggs here. So many eggs. They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime is formed around them. Y yum. Yummy yummy in my tummy. Alright, so so far all we can do is just go get that herb. Which is not the worst. Don't get me wrong. You do want to pick up as many herbs as you can get before you stop the train. I'll say that much. On on normal mode, I believe I believe you want to get as many of the herbs as you can get. On normal and hard mode, I want to say you also want to get or on hard mode, you want to pick up the ammo as well. Again, there's a reason for that and I'll explain it later. But don't think that you can't leave items behind and get them later. It's actually like it's about the only way you can manage your inventory. There is no item box, which is actually kind of frustrating, really. And in fact, I think this might be the only main series game that doesn't use item boxes. We'll take that. And we'll... Yeah, we'll pick that up. We can't carry it for now. Uh, Rebecca, why don't you grab that? Actually, no. Rebecca, I need you to... Yeah, I'm going to need you to save your inventory because you're already carrying the shotgun. So, I picked it up. I didn't get it. But that should be fine. Really, ideally, I probably shouldn't have picked up the... Um, I probably shouldn't have picked up the thing either, the first aid spray. This is what we left behind that I need. A hook shot is attached to the wall. To use, pull the lever and release the lock. So I need to put my team up and swap. You come over here. It's the release lever. Pull it? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, you did not let me switch between my partners. Thank you. There we go. You need two blocks to carry this item. Perfect. Uh, in that case, I guess I'm going to put down the hunting rifle. Or what else can I give up? It's like, it, it's the hunting rifle or nothing. I wonder if, now that I've actually touched it... Oops. It doesn't seem to be closing, so what I could do... Is I could just bring... Oh, no, that's not closed. Oh, he's got to hold it down. Okay, he's got to hold it down. That's why it closed. Uh, you know, knives aren't going to be very useful, like, at all. And we'll get it later. Alright, Billy, why don't you get the hook shot then? And I'll have Rebecca open, it, open this lever. You hold it down, Billy gets the thing. Yes, take the hook shot. Hook shot operator's manual. Warning, the device should only be used when inspecting difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return it to its proper location after use. One, where to use? There is a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage. Fire the device so that it hooks high into the ladder. Use the winch to climb. After securing the hook, use the winch to lift yourself up. The grappling hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware that the unit may be damaged at lifting more than 80 kilograms. Okay. So that is saying that Billy can't use it, because Billy is a fatty fat. Let's go back to team mode. And exchange for the hunting rifle. And then off we go. So the window outside the third floor carriage. Or the first floor of the third carriage. Whatever. Uh, let's pull up the map and take a look. So, assuming that's counting from the front, I think I know where to use it. Oh, and now we can see all the stuff that we left on the ground and where it was. Cool. Alright, let's go to the front. I mean, chances are really good. I'm probably just going to, like, Look near a window, because I don't remember the exact one. I think there's only really one window we have access to, though. I think all the other windows are actually blocked off. By various things, at least on the first floor. So there is something I wanted to bring up now that I got a chance. I honestly can't remember if I brought this up before or in a different take on my recordings. Uh, there's a little bit of a continuity error here. Forgive me if I brought this up. In the opening, it said that, you know, Bravo's helicopter is taking place two hours after the train crash. And this may not be a continuity error. This just may be, like, not clear writing. But Bravo's helicopter is supposed to be investigating murders, bizarre murders that have been happening for the last few weeks. Now, we did get a note that said, you know, there have been bizarre murders happening. Could it be the virus? But I was pretty sure that the main villain of this game engineered the T-virus outbreak of the Arkley Mansion. That's a little bit of a spoiler, but I have to bring it up to explain my, my thinking here. I'm, I was pretty sure that the... T-Virus outbreak didn't happen until after 
after this game. Between this game and, um... Yeah, see, we're blocked from here. There's nothing else here. Uh, between this game and, um... Resident Evil 1. But he has bite marks all over it. Poor dude. Now, this is where it's a little bit convoluted and it could be a retcon. How long? The question is basically how long has the outbreak been going on at this point? Did it just start? Is it about to start? That's what feels a little bit unclear to me. Not sure that they really explain that properly. Right, where am I using? Oh, right, this is the briefcase. I don't want that. That'll just take up an inventory spot. I don't need to use that yet. Uh, no, don't use the ladder yet. I don't remember exactly where the access point is. I mean, I guess it doesn't really make sense to be in this car because, you know, there's the ladder to the roof right there. Or, no, that's... Actually, hang on a sec. No. Yes? No. No? Maybe. Let me look at this note again. Look at the file. It would be really helpful, you know, if it's marked on the map. File, hotshot, hook shot operator's manual. By the first floor section door of the third carriage. Okay. It's also like a weird indentation on that door, isn't it? The very lowest one? I wonder if that was supposed to be the lock. It looked really strange. It didn't look like a lock at all. Let me find this and I will... Let me do a cut until I find where I'm supposed to use this. Use this. I'll be right back. Okay, the window that they're talking about is right here. And yes, I left Billy somewhere. He's upstairs. I left him there for a reason. But this is the window that they're talking about. Through the window, you can see a broken ladder. It's of no use right now. If we use the hook shot, we can hook onto it. This is one of those things where I really feel like they could have made it a little more distinct. I mean, yeah, it looks a little weird, but there's not a huge reason to examine it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It looks like there's a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump down through the crack? Sure. You're still upset. Now you're bleeding out. All right, what we really want is in here. Take the joy box, yes. Oops, I did not want to hit that button. That's where I left Billy at least. Now you see. Let's look at this jewelry box. It looks like a case for holding jewelry. Open it. There's something inside! You take the silver ring. Excellent. That looks like the second key that we need. Is there anything useful in here besides that? The box is filled with the passengers' belongings. They all look extremely valuable, but I don't have in inventory space, so I can't steal them.
Oh look, how convenient. All the eggs are hatching. Very, very nice. Well, let's just run out there. What's the worst that could happen? You know, getting swarmed by leeches. Oh, hello, Billy. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Follow me! Run away! <laughs> Don't stand near leeches, Billy! Alright, I believe if we continued up we would have been in the bar, but I don't want to deal with leeches, so we're just going to continue down here, because this is pretty much... We're going to be one on this floor anyway, because now we need to go look at that briefcase. We've got both the things, and this might be the time when we can ditch a few things. Like, since we're passing by this area, it might be a good reason to get rid of the hook shot. Let's see... We don't need this. Leave that. And that actually might be good enough. Yeah, we'll keep the hunting gun for now. Now, finally, we can solve the mystery of the briefcase. Hooray, I hope. It's going to be really bad if we need to know a combination. But you'd think they would have told us by now if we did, or where to find it. Alright, let's take the briefcase. Now we're gonna do some stuff. Alright, first off, I want that gold ring Billy has. Give that over here, please. And then combine that with the gold ring, and combine that with the silver ring. Let's see, examine then. The briefcase has been unlocked. Open it? Absolutely. There is something inside. That entire briefcase just for the blue key card. This key card is used to unlock the electronic door to the lead car. Good. So hopefully now we can finally go shut this down. Please. I really don't like these loading screens now. This is, this is really not immersive. Hey, you know, you're supposed to be out in the hallway, but it's still loading. Uh, okay. I do have the right card. This is another thing that is starting to drive me nuts. In modern Resident Evils, and even in the remake of Resident Evil 1, if you had the item in your inventory, it would just, like, allow you to do the thing. Here, you have to use the item from your inventory every time. Yeah, get rid of the keycard. Uh, I love how we, again, how we psychically know we know this we don't Delta need it. Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? Uh, they died. That's what happened. They get aided. Mmm, nom nom nom, human. Delicious leech food. I'm sure it's fine to go out here. Let's head out. You know, it's our bad for having the eggs hatch. We got the silver ring and apparently that did it. Sorry guys, we could have waited a few more minutes, I guess. Hey, check it out, dead bodies.
train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. Brake operation manual. Using the brake control, or using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Activating the controls, brake controls are located in the following locations. First car driver's compartment, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device on the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Enter the rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Enter the driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. We got the manual. And we'll leave Billy behind. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca! Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. <laughs> Alright. We only have so many minutes to do this, and I think I just left the card behind. Along with these huge loading screens. Let's take a look and see if the, I actually needed to pick up that card. Because she headed straight for the door like, eh, you know what, I don't, I don't need it. Yeah, I need to take it. Good thing I stopped and noticed that. Alright, now let's go. It's also a good thing that the clock doesn't tick down between loading screens, as is not Resident Evil tradition. So thank you for moving out of my way, that was very polite of you, saved me some ammo. I almost took pot shots at you and then I realized I didn't really have to. many of the zombies are now awake now that we're trying to save everybody's life, namely ours? The question, of course, is... or the answer, of course, is all of them. He has moved. Yeah, there he is. Oh! Ow, ow, ow. Get off me. Get off me! You know what? That's fine. Let's just keep going. I knew he became a zombie. I knew it. I mean, I guess everybody could have predicted that. How many people die in Resident Evil, let you discover the corpse, and don't become zombies? Wow. I guess only in Rico, but mostly because I- Oh, I died. Cool. I guess I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't really mean for Billy to do that, but sure. Let's take the card. To be fair, he's probably going to be a lot tougher, and he's not in... Caution status, but uh, he actually doesn't have too much ammo. That's something I should have fixed before leaving. Oh well. Hopefully he won't need it, because I'm going to try a different route. And it starts by avoiding these zombies. It occurred to me that since we're coming right outside the captain's quarters, we can take that ladder up, and we can take you know, the upper floor instead of the lower floor? And it might actually be safer. It will allow us to at least skip one infested car. I think. Because, I mean, there weren't any passengers on the second floor, really. There's, they were mostly all on the first floor, so I can't imagine there's too many corpses up here. You know, except for the flaming ones. I'm sure there might be a few more that were on fire. 
with my luck. Of course, it does mean an extra, you know, an extra loading screen or two, unfortunately. Alright, so far so good. Because we should be able to cross directly over and back to that staircase in the third cabin. And we at least skipped and uh whoever that was, I've actually forgotten his name. If you hang around Yeah, if you hang around the leeches, they will jump on you and do moderate amounts of damage that does add up over time, but if you just keep moving, you're probably just gonna squish them. They're not really a hazard as long as you have free movement. If you're gonna be in an area solving a puzzle or something, I they can be. They can be. Of course, they're not nearly as dangerous to, you know, to Billy as they are to Rebecca. Because Rebecca's health is terrible! I think that was all my bullets. But you know what? If you're the only zombie, I'll take it. This might be the smart man's play here. Go through here. No more secret zombies. No more dogs. No, I'm pretty happy. I might not be happy I didn't pick up those shotgun shells. Well, whatever. All right. Here's the panel we need to use. There's a hand operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. And I forgot that I have to do this. Use! For some insane reason. Alright, so there are three random numbers that it will generate, and you have to add up to that number. You can use this to operate the brake. So for 67, let's do 7, 7. Seven, 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 four. That's it. The numbers generated are random. If you don't Spilling. do math, I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. If you don't want to do math in the time limit, uh, you know, there's easy ways to do it. Alright, now Rebecca needs to enter her number, and we can't see the display. But uh, for 81, let's try 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 9. Okay, 8 times 9 is 72, plus 9 is 81. There we go. These brakes don't appear to be working. Best brakes. Take them to Midas. Billy's dead. No, not Billy. Not Sir. Never appearing in another game. Okay, he's he's alive. Good. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, we managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. We're immediately surrounded by zombies! Multiple zombies! Oh no! 
Billy, I will save you somehow. Billy ran away. Billy, you know what? I'm not surprised he doesn't let me ammo. Get off me! Get off me! Alright, you're down for good. You're down for good. Okay. Billy, where did you go? Follow me. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Now, that ends chapter one with a bang. We'll have to figure out where we are next time. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, give me a like, leave me a comments. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.